Thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at OLED display. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. OLED display is self-illuminated, meaning there is no need for backlight because every pixel is a light emitting diode. I have here a 0 0.96 OLED display from Gorilla Cell. It is a monochrome display with a resolution of 128 by 64 pixels. It has four pins, namely ground for the ground pins, VCC for the supply voltage, SDA for the I squared C serial data pin, and SCL for the I squared C serial clock pin. For this experiment, we will also be needing of ESP32 development board, which I already attached at the top of Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield. Four pin, female to female DuPont jumper wires, and of course, the 0 0.96 OLED display itself. Now let me assemble our demo circuit. First, attach the DuPont jumper wires to the OLED display by following the color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the BCC, yellow for the SDA, and white for the SCL. Next, attach the other end of the DuPont jumper wires to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the DuPont jumper wires to the colors of the pin headers of ESP32, which is black to black, red to red, yellow, and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. I choose the GPIO21 for the SDA, which is this one, and GPIO22 for the SCL. So let me attach it. Next, attach an external power supply with the Type-C USB cable to the ESP32 shield and make sure that the power switch is slide to on state. Next, connect the ESP32 to the computer with the micro USB cable. Our demo circuit is now ready. Now for the software part, we will need an external library in order to easily use the OLED display. Thankfully, there is an available library which is the SSD1306 from Adaproot. Copy this OLED driver to the Tony Python IDE which I already did. I will also make a copy on my blog post for this tutorial. So I already have it here. But before that, click the stop button to let the Tony detect the ESP32. I will click the stop button one more time. Okay. When you see the triple greater than sign, it means that the ESP32 is detected by the Tony Python IDE. Now save the OLED library to the MicroPython's root directory by clicking the file menu, select save as, select MicroPython device, and save it as ssd1306.py and click OK. Now to check if you successfully save it on MicroPython device, Click the view menu, select files, and under the MicroPython device, you should see the ssd1306.py. I will close this one. I have prepared two example source code for this tutorial. Now for example number one, we will explore some basic functionality of the OLED display using the repo. To do that, after you select the example number one, click the run current script. Now to begin with, to print a string, we can send OLED that text. Let's say hello world on the location 0x and 0y. The first value is the string we want to send. 
The second value is the X position, which is in this OLED display, the 0X is here, and here is 127X. While the third value, which is this one, is the Y position, which is here, and he down here is 63Y. After you send the OLED.txt function, the command will be put in queue. Now to display the, all the commands in queue, we need to send another command which is the OLED.show. I will hit enter. And the hello world should be displayed in the OLED display. Now to clear the OLED display, we can use the OLED.fill and give it a value of 0. And to update the OLED, we need to send OLED.show. Or, we can fill it with its monochrome color, OLED.show. As you can see. So, I will revert back to 0, which is this one, and I will show it. You may also use the invert function to invert the display. But before that, let me display a text in the OLED by sending OLED, that text, let's say tech to tinker at location of 1010. Hit enter and let's show it. Let's use the invert color, which is OLED, that invert. Give it a value of 1. So when you send OLED invert with a value of 1, we'll set the OLED to display black text on a monochrome background color. Or we can invert it by giving it a value of 0, which will set the OLED to display a text using the monochrome color over a black background. Now to display a single pixel, let me first clear the display by sending OLED fill 0 and OLED that show. Now let's display a single pixel on 10x and 20y. So that is OLED that pixel pixel on 10 10x 20y with a with a monochrome color hit enter and to display it OLED that show and I don't know if you can see this but there is a small dot here in 10x and 20y now to display a horizontal line we can use OLED that each line Let's say on 30x, 40y, with a length of the line for 10 pixel, with a color of monochrome. And use the show function, which will print a horizontal line starting from 30x and 40y, with a 10 pixel long to display a vertical line we can use the v line oled that v line or vertical line let's say on the 30x 45y let's say 15 pixel long with the monochrome color and use the show function and as you can see there is a vertical line here now while H line and V line is quite useful, there is another function that is more flexible to use, which is the line function. So that is OLED, that line, let's say starting from 0x, 50y, to 10x, 50y, with a monochrome color. Let's use OLED show, which will print a horizontal line starting from 0x 50y to 10x 50y 
More than that, using the line function, we can also create a diagonal line. Let's say OLED, that line, let's say 10x, 55y to 20x, 65y with a monochrome color. Let's use the show function, which prints a diagonal line here. We may also able to print a rectangle OLED that rec 10x 21 with a width of 10 pixel with a height of 5 pixel with a monochrome color of 1. Let's show it. Or we may also print a field rectangle similar to this rectangle, but this one will print a rectangle with field colors. OLED that field rec, let's say starting from 10x and 30y to with a width of 10 with a height of let's say in with a monochrome color let's show it using OLED that show and as you can see the rectangle is printed in the OLED now for example number two which is this one let me click the stop button first we will use the internal RTC of the ESP32 and display the current date and time on the OLED display let me Click the run current script. But before that, I will stop again. Let us first modify the current set date and time. So now is 2021, February. The date is 6. The weekday is 6 also for the Saturday. The time is... 7 plus 12, 19. The minute is, let's say, 43. And let's neglect the seconds and milliseconds or subseconds. Let's change it to 44. And let's stop. And click the run current script. And the date and time is displayed in the OLED display. So which basically begins by importing the necessary modules, which are pin, the I squared C, and RTC, and the slip are all built-in modules available on ESP32. While the SSD1306 is the library we saved in the MicroPython's root directory, then we created an OLED object for the OLED display then we created an RTC object for the date and time and in the main loop the current date and time is stored on the T variable then the OLED is cleared using the OLED that fill with the value of 0 to display the date we parse from the array 0 1 and 2 of t variable which represents the year month and day and to display the time we parse the array 4 and 5 of t variable which represents the hour and minutes accordingly and of course this colon is this one so i believe that should be enough as always the source code that is in here is available on my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the description. If you have any question, write it in the comment box below. If this video has been helpful, please consider giving me a thumbs up and share this to your friends. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. God bless.